Um, as you were saying, the 34 companies that were in administration exited administration last Friday. Uh, as you're aware, the company was, was on the brink of, of financial ruin two years ago, uh, and we executed a very well thought out restructuring plan. We used the Abu Dhabi Global Market, the ADGM process here, and we were able to get protection from our creditors, and we spent the last two years restructuring the debt, the $7 billion worth of debt that you were referencing. We've, we've restructured it successfully, and then with this, uh, an overwhelming support from our creditor group, 95% of the creditors uh, voted to support the restructuring plan and the deed of company arrangements. We've now emerged from administration a much stronger, healthier, and well-balanced company than ever before. I think the obvious question, though, is who is ultimately going to take responsibility and accountability for what's happened here? Because much of your focus now is ensuring that something like this does not ever happen again. Right, and that's a really good question, and I think it's, and thank you for letting me answer that. But the NMC Healthcare PLC that was listed on the London Stock Exchange and was delisted will remain in administration. The NMC Healthcare LTD will remain in administration. And we've left around $100 million worth of assets in the PLC in order to pursue litigation. Um, there have been countless hours of investigation performed. There are thousands of documents. And what will happen eventually will, the joint administrators will pursue criminal and civil complaints. Mm -hmm. Now, I've never spoken about that in public because my job has been always to operate the business and I've always focused on the strength and stability of the organization. So the PLC and the LTD have nothing to do with the new whole co that I'm responsible for and the whole co is what's emerged from administration, healthy, strong, five and a half million patient encounters last year. We did uh, 205 million US EBITDA last year so the business is really strong. And, and, and the rest of that will remain with the PLC and LTD. So talk me through your strategy now. You have this three-year growth plan plus an eye for divestments <clears throat> and a possible full sale, as I've heard. Yeah. How are you going to wade through this as CEO when the business and the brand have obviously had such a huge credibility gap? Yeah, well, you know, I think we've spent a lot of time over the last years getting that, the last two years getting that credibility back. But you know, we're a healthcare company. So I look at the company like a patient. And what do you do with a patient? You examine the patient, you perform diagnostics, you put together a treatment plan, and then you evaluate the effect, efficacy of that treatment plan. The patient is NMC Healthcare, and the patient is healthy and strong. So if you look at our three year business plan, we performed well against the business plan for 2020 and 2021. We're trending really, really well. The business is trading well for 2022. Um, you know, this three-year growth plan, it's not proprietary information that a, a financial institution would not want to hold on to a healthcare asset for a long time. So all of that will be part of the process as well. But uh, we're just really grateful that we're, we were able to use the Abu Dhabi Financial Center, ADGM, to get to the point where we are today. And you mentioned the creditor there. So yeah. ultimately, the situation is that those creditors are now owning the entity, correct? Correct. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what is going to be acceptable to, for them when it comes to a sale and who do you think might actually be interested in an asset like this? I think that's a really good question. I think it's the question on everyone's mind is who would be interested. I think an institutional investor or, you know, a strategic investor, uh, it could be someone local, it could be, you know, a, a global investor. It's, we're not sure when it's right to take the business out for sale, we'll do so. It'll be a very competitive process. It'll be an open process. The new NMC Healthcare is very well governed. We have a very strong governance structure under a great board of directors. We had our first board meeting on Monday and it was exciting to get this, this group of people together. So uh, when, it, when the time comes, then the, I think the right buyer's out there. One of the other quite obvious questions I think that people want to know is, where is BR Shetty? Yeah, that's a, a good question. You know, uh, and I don't want to be, um, I don't, I don't want to evade the question, but I will tell you that where Dr. Shetty is is of no concern to me. <laughs> my, <laughs> my concern is basically our 12,000 employees here in the UAE and Oman that continue to care for patients day in and day out and, uh, and focusing on providing good, solid patient care and ensuring we have an amazing governance structure to carry the institution forward. When it comes to restoring credibility and accepting accountability and responsibility for what happened, then obviously it's very important to get him back into the fold. So yeah. hopefully we'll be able to speak to him at some point. But uh, Michael, before I let you go, I wanted to get your take on what you think this ultimately means, this entire saga ultimately means for oversight and governance here in the UAE. I know you've worked with ADGM on the ultimate restoration of this patient as you've described it. but. There are some out there who say this should never have happened. Creditors should never have been allowed to be this exposed and they should have caught on to this 
much, much sooner than they did. How do you respond to that? Yeah. You know, Dan, a group of people that were former leaders for the company basically um, fooled many, many people around the world. They fooled a lot of people in the financial sector and in the healthcare sector. I think the process over the last two years, as painful as it's been, has demonstrated that the UAE is a good place to do business. And working with the ADGM and the, and the onshore judicial system here has been very, very beneficial for us. And I think in other jurisdictions, it might, we might would not have been able to restructure the business as quickly as we did. You're right, they did expose some gaps in a system that I think have since been corrected. But we've done a lot of work around moving our credibility forward, not only for NMC Healthcare, but for the UAE in general. And this is an amazing place to live and work and do business.